Okay, so I'm going to show you an easy way to edit your cake photos that you've taken. And so we're going to go back to, I'll just show you from the beginning. I've already got a cake photo pulled up here, but I'll just show you from the beginning what it looks like. So you're just going to go to pickmonkey.com and it'll look like this. And then this little header will pop up and you're just going to hover over edit and then hit computer. And then I've got some photos saved here that uh, I've taken for the blog post that I posted about taking photos. So don't forget to check that out as well. So I'm just going to click on this first one and open it up. And so it takes PicMonkey a little bit to load the photos. Maybe your computer is faster than mine, but mine's a little bit slow. So we'll just wait for, for it to pop up. a while but there it is okay so we've got our picture here and the first thing that I like to do is sometimes I like to um, lower the size of the photo just a little bit just so it's easy to edit sometimes if the photo resolution is very very high the editing is slow and so I'll go down here to resize and I'll just click on resize and I don't want to resize it all the way down to to what I normally normally I'll save it in a you know an 850 or 800 right here um, and then I'll just hit apply and save it as that size but just for now I don't want to do that in case I have to crop it it'll size it smaller so I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say 1500 and that'll make it small enough to where it's easily editable um, and so then the next thing that I like to do is I like to go over to the rotate button because as you can see it's a little bit tilted and I'm not very good at holding my camera straight I know that a lot of people use the tripod I, I don't like to use the tripods because I don't feel like I can move around quick enough so I'm never really straight so I just like to rotate it or tilt it one way or the other so I'm gonna tilt it a little bit and you can just move this little button here and it gives you little grid lines and so I'm gonna keep going until I see what I like and I think I think that looks straight so we're gonna go with that and then the next thing I like to do is just go down one more to the exposure we're gonna click that and it's gonna bring you a bunch of options up here and so this is looking a little dark on this side uh, I had a window over here on the right side and so this left side is looking a little dark so we're gonna go over here to shadows shadows are the dark areas highlights are the light areas and then brightness is just an overall look so we're gonna go to shadows and I'm gonna try to lighten up this spot over here so I'm just gonna move this little area and see what it does so if you go all the way up it's really too bright so I'm just gonna go up just just a little bit because I don't want it too bright so I'll say that looks pretty good and then over here on the brightness we can adjust that if we want to that's way too bright I think I'll just brighten it a couple and then highlights I really don't want to mess with highlights because it's so light on this side if I move it and I'll show you it will brighten it too much over there and it'll just glare it's just like I think they call it a, the white balance is just blown out so we're just gonna leave that at let's see if I can get back to zero okay and then the contrast the contrast sometimes there's not a lot of color in this photo but it'll really brighten the photo a little bit um, and I'll just show you if you move it up a little bit it sort of makes um, some of the details come out you don't want to mess with contrast too much you just if you're gonna use it just use it you know very lightly and so I'm just gonna go maybe to a five and so I'm gonna hit apply and I'm going to rotate it back to the left a little bit because I feel like it's tilting just a little too much. And sometimes I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is I think I want to crop it a little bit because there's not as much space over here as there is over here. So I'm going to hit crop and then they give you these little guidelines and I'm just going to hold, pull it up and then hold and pull it down and try to make this side the same as that side. We're going to hit up apply and then there's your final product. 
once you get it how you want it, when you are ready to save, you can you can go down to resize if you'd like. Click on that and you can resize it. You can just leave it like this if you're just going to keep the photos on a jump drive or put them on your Facebook or whatever. But if you want to resize it, like if you have a blog, if I'm going to put it on my blog, I want to size it down a little bit because I don't want the full size on my blog. It makes it too uh, the file too large to load and it sort of slows down a website so I'll usually just resize it to about 800 and I'll hit apply and then to save it you'll go up here to save and you'll click save and then launching the knuckleplexer they always say funny things and so I'll just rename it and so I can say um, rustic vanilla cake and then I'll just leave it on pierce because that's a pretty good quality and so then I'll just save it to my computer click Save and then I'll just go up save it to my desktop and I'll click Save and there it is masterpiece saved okay so let's do another one and so we'll just go over here to open click the down arrow my computer I'm just gonna go up to desktop and then I'm gonna go down to my pictures to edit click that and then let's do another one. This one is a darker version, and so we'll go with that. Hanging on a sec while it opens it. Okay, and so this one, I haven't even cropped it down. You can see it's tilted a little bit, as all of my pictures seem to be. And then you can see the outside. This is where my backdrop stopped right here. And so we'll need to crop that down. And so what I'm going to do first is I think I'll go to resize. And I'm just going to resize it to about 2,000. I don't want to go too far down because I'm gonna, I am gonna—I know I'm going to crop it. Whoops. Okay. And so we'll just put 2,000. Apply. And then I'm going to rotate it before I crop it. And so I'm just going to move it over here to the left a little bit to try to size it. Make sure everything looks lined up. That looks good. Apply. And then... I'm going to go to crop. I'm going to hit crop. And then I'm going to slide this all the way up there. And this one I'm going to, of course, stop before I get over here to the right. And I want to get the little chicken in there because I think he's cute. Or maybe that's a rooster. So, okay. So we're going to slide that part in. And I'm going to hit apply. And I like how that looks. And so next, I always go to the exposure. And this part over here is very bright. This part is kind of dark. And so I'm going to adjust the shadows to see if I can lighten up the dark part. And so it looks pretty good. I want it a little bit dark on that one side because I think it just kind of gives it some variation. And so let's look at brightness. I just like to play with it sometimes just to see what it's going to do. Oh, that's too dark. Too bright. Okay, we're going to go down a little bit, and I think the brightness is pretty good at zero. Um, let's see if I can get it back to zero. Come on. It's kind of sensitive, these little things. Okay. That looks pretty good. We're just going to leave it on too. And then the contrast, you can, you can edit the contrast a little bit. I just like to go a little bit, just a couple on the contrast, to sort of bring out the detail. And I want the highlights to go down a little bit. It seems a little blown out to me. So I'm going to go down on the highlights. That's going to lessen this brightness a little bit on this one side. Let's see. Go back. I think the bright is looking a little bright to me. This one, we want it to kind of have a little bit of a rustic look to it. I just keep playing with it until I get it to where I like the look of it and I like the look of that so I'm gonna hit apply and if you want to adjust the colors you can you just click on colors and then the saturation down here you can go up it just makes it more colorful I don't like to use that a lot if I do I just like to go up to maybe a two or a one just to give it a little extra pop but I don't want the photo to look fake and then the temperature if you go to the right it sort of makes it kind of a yellowish brown look. To the left is a green look or a blue look. 
And usually if you've got your wide balance right and you've turned your overhead lights off, you can usually leave it at zero. Um, but it's just to your preference. If you need to adjust the white balance, like if it's too yellow, you can go to the left a little bit. I'm going to try to get this back to zero. There we go. And I'm going to click apply. And I like how this turns out, um, or it's turned out. And then I'm going to resize it again. And like I said, I'm going to go to 800. If you're not posting this on some kind of website or whatever, you're not worried about load speed, you can just leave it at the high, high, um, size and it'll be fine and so I'll click apply and then we're gonna save it like we did the other ones you just click save and then you'll rename it and then save it so I'm not gonna save this one because I've already showed you how to save the other one but we're going to um, do another one we'll just do one more and it says wait you didn't save that's okay I don't want to save so I click don't save and let's click this other one this is a vertical one and so I'll just show you how to do this one We'll just wait for it to load. Like I said, your computer may be faster than mine, which is great. Okay, so this one popped up and it's a little blurry down here and it's more focused here um, because of my aperture setting. So what I'm gonna do first is just resize like we normally do. And then I'm going to set it to, I think I'll set it to 2000. Hit apply. And then I'm going to go back up. I don't want to rotate it because I think it looks good the way it is. And so I'm going to crop it. And I want to go all the way to the top, but I want to cut off some of this bottom part. And so I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to apply it. And if you go back down to the resize, you can see... Um, well, it didn't resize it too bad. It just resized it on the right a little bit, so still good. Okay, and so right now I want to go to the exposure, and I'm going to adjust the brightness just a little bit. And then I'm going to adjust the shadow. I'm going to go back up a little bit. See how it says editing is slow? It's because my uh, resolution is at 2,000. And so if it's really slow, I'll just hit apply and I'll do a resize again. And I'm just going to resize it back to the 800. And then that way it's going to adjust it quicker. So the editing will be quicker. So we'll go back to the shadows and I'll readjust it. See how now it's not popping up with that editing is slow error message. And so I think I like that. It's really light and bright. Contrast, we can go up. And you can tell on the contrast if we go way up, it just kind of sharpens everything but it it looks a little fake if you do too much and so I'm just gonna go maybe about four that looks good so let's go to colors and it's looking a little yellow and I want to see if I can go down a little bit so let's try temperature first If we go down I don't really like that because it's starting to look a little bluish green and so let's go back up another let's try to go down maybe one that looks pretty good so I'm gonna apply it um, and we can also mess with the saturation so if you want the saturation to be less see that kind of helps with the yellowness of it and so I think we'll just go at about let's go to negative two that looks pretty good but it's just really to your preference at that point point. and if you want things if things are a little blurry you can go to sharpen now you want a little bit of blurriness around the the um, the part that's not supposed to be the focus of your photo so you don't want to go all the way up here but you can adjust it by clicking here and it'll just kind of uh, sharpen things just a little bit I don't think I really need it that much in this photo so I'm gonna go back down a little bit and hit apply but I really like that so and I've already resized and so I'm ready to save and I'll just click save and rename it but that is how you can easily edit your photos in PicMonkey and it's totally free to use it. You can upgrade and I think it is maybe uh, $9 a month or something like that. It's not expensive. If you upgrade, you can get different kinds of text and fonts and things like that if you're going to be putting text overlays on your photos. But just to do what I just did, that's totally free. Um, so that's just the easy way to edit your cake pictures.